Hey, welcome to the drive through I'm your host, Tony T. As we broadcast live here on Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place YouTube channel throughout social media. We'll get you out of here well before the top of the hour. Give you guys enough time to get those bets in for the primetime game. And that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's different live free sports picks for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later. And to deliver those winners, a professional handicapper so by Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. So t let's take a peek at who's on the show with us for today. All right, this we got Mills Young with us, Alex Smarts. Tony Brown, Jay is a late scratch, and then Wayne Scott. Here's how they'll line up for this evening. A smart Brown, Young, Scott, then I will close this one out. All right, we've got NBA on the board tonight. Six-game card tonight. Also be a six-game card tomorrow, but six games tonight. NHL, big card as well. Uh, lots of conference action uh, in college, con conference tournament action right now in college hoops. So lots going on. So let's get this show underway. Let's go ahead and welcome in Alex Smart. You'll catch him over at Pick Dodge Premium. Alex has been on absolute tear over on the premium site. I'll bring him in right now. Alex, what's happening? Not much, Tony. We're gonna to go after. We're gonna we're gonna just just go the opposite way a little bit here tonight. We're gonna to go with some NHL hockey. We've got a really important game here between the New York Islanders and the Buffalo Sabers, and uh, the Sabers are just five points behind the Islanders for the final wild card spot, and they're playing at home tonight. And uh, you know this just smells of a postseason style hockey game, really hard hitting. I'm really looking for uh, I'm looking for some physical action. I'm looking. For for top attending. Uh, Sorokin's playing much better for the Islanders, playing the way he was supposed to play for the beginning of the season. And uh, the Sabres goaltender is also playing good. Uh, uh, Lukanen, right? What does he have now? I think he is on an amazing run right now. I'm just going to look at, quickly at the numbers. Yeah, he's a 924 save percentage, 7 2 1 his last 10 appearances. I mean, Lukanen's playing great hockey and looking. Great, I know that's tacky, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm looking for a very close physical hockey game. A lot on the line here for both teams. Uh, it's interesting to note the last five times these teams have played, they have not combined for more than five goals. I'm looking for another one of those type of affairs tonight. Low scoring, play the under. All right, we got Alex here uh, looking for that low scoring game. Islanders under uh, under uh, six goals here in this one between these two and uh you know when you look at uh, uh the uh, defense here by the islanders yeah how can you argue that with the way they've been playing here over their past five games long and less than two goals a game i think i think the only spot here is uh you know can the sabers uh get you know keep that puck out and then although as you said that they you like the goalie in this spot yeah yeah i just like the goaltending right now i know nelson's back up on the first line before now they figured out putting him on the first line, a top tier goal scorer like that, has ignited that one line for the Islanders. But they're essentially just a one line team now offensively. So if the Sabres can slow that one that one line down, uh, we have a good chance at a low scoring contest. There you go. And the uh, Sabres are uh, piling up some wins at home. I was looking at their home mark here of late. Uh, recent wins against uh, Carolina, Vegas. Uh, they beat Edmonton. They beat Detroit. Drop one to Winnipeg. But uh, they've been uh, actually playing better at home. Yeah, and this is like a close to a pick em game. If you want to take the Sabres, don't feel out of place. The Sabres have won their last four games here against the Islanders. And the Islanders, uh, as well as they play lately, have been inconsistent all season long. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens tonight. But from my perspective, I think your best uh, money, a bank for your money, will be an under bet. There you go, Pop. Alex Smart here likes uh, the under in this one here between the Islanders and Sabres. Tonight's action from the NHL. All right, Alex, let's take a look over at Pick Dogs for tonight's action. As we said, Alex has been on absolute tear over at Pick Dogs. Take a look at the numbers here for 2024, 20, 2916 units of profit. All document over at Pick Dogs so you can verify those numbers simply going to Alex's handicapper page. Go over to Pick History. You'll see every play up there. All right, uh, NBA on the board here with the six game card, big card here with 12 games from the, on the ice and college tournament action as well. What do you have going over at Pick Dogs Premium? Well, tonight we have one college basketball selection for the evening. Um, I'm always a little shy during tourney basketball. I have a lot more plays. Oh, well, conference tourney basketball in the early rounds. Uh, better, much better suited to sort of looking at the, the angles from the, uh, the the championship rounds of the tourneys and, of course, the NCAA tournament and, and a lot of the other going to be taking place here. It's just something about these conference tourneys with me just uh, – yeah, I, I'm a little shy, a little bit shy, but, uh, you know, moving forward, we're going to have selections, lots of them, and lots of money-making moves. We've got NHL hockey tonight, and uh, we have some NBA, NBA basketball, a total for this evening, too. And uh, like I said, lots of action moving forward. We have some Major League Baseball coming up very shortly. Tony knows about that, and uh, just to whatever angle you'll ever need. And uh, so, there we go. We've, we've got lots of action, lots of money-making uh, opportunities, 
join me long term, save a bunch of money and make a bunch of money. That's right, guys. Again, with Alex Smart over at Pick Dog Stream, you see the great results here uh, from Alex at 2,900 and 16 units of profit all talking about over at pick dog stream now if you want to get on board with alex uh, you know that one month pass is a really good deal right now because you get all of alex's pre and plays for 30 days that would include all his nba of course college basketball this will cover the entire ncaa tournament as well as all those minor tournaments out there like the nit you've got the cbi up there cit and of course action on the ice and of course baseball as we said uh, two weeks from today is the start of the is the u.s opening day right so uh as you as you can tell right now it's getting uh actually the dodgers play uh, they're in, they're actually right now padres and dodgers are in korea getting ready for their uh, series on wednesday so uh it's coming at you guys baseball is is very close and uh, no better time to get on board with alex smart with that one month all sports pass as we said with that one month all sports pass of all the sports that alex handicaps you see the numbers there pick is a promo code to save that 15 percent off right alex is always that great having your show continue that great success uh, we'll catch up with you again uh, next week, but we always we always see you uh, popping in out of the weekend shows. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I've had some technical problems lately. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. But uh, anyway, hopefully this weekend, if I do pop in, uh, I won't have any tech problems. So. That's right. Hopefully, we get those tech issues underway. All right, Alex, have a great night, Alex Smart. All right, take care. Bye bye. Alex Smart here on the drive too. We'll continue here in a second, guys. If you ever miss a pick, we'll recap at the end of the show. Make sure you stay tuned for that. And of course, uh, we, we introduced a new ser a new uh, feature here on the uh, on the drive through. I want to let you guys know about our chat pick of the day, and this is our chat pick of the day uh, today. Uh, we're going to college hoops here, Big East tournament. Uh, we got Villanova and Marquette going head to head, uh, and if you like Villanova uh, plus the four, type A in the chat. If you like Marquette. Plus, minus the four, type a B in the chat. If you like under 140, it would be C. If you like under 140, it would be D. So uh, go ahead and uh, enter your uh, picks into the chat, and then we will accumulate them throughout the day and let everybody know what, uh, what, what it is. And this will be the chat pick of the day right now. New feature over at Tony'sPicks.com. we got one coming in here from Dustin H. is coming in with Villanova plus the four. So we got the first one in. Actually, we're starting to see action coming right now. B's. A couple of three Bs in here. It looks like uh, uh, Marquette. Uh, what these teams will be like in Marquette right now. So three Marquettes, one uh, Villanova early on here in the wager. And actually add another one here to uh, uh, to uh, Marquette. So four to one right now. Early stages here of the of the uh, of our show, of our chat pick of the day. 9:30 Eastern time. We'll accumulate these throughout the day. All right, let's continue here on the drive so let's go ahead and we'll welcome in next uh tony brown you'll catch him over at pick dog stream bring him in right now tony brown what's happening tony t what's going on everything's going great uh going tonight late night action here as the knicks uh open up this west coast trip against portland we see uh knicks big favorites on the road 11 and a half total 204. yeah i had caught it at 206 when i first uh chimed in this morning but even at 204 i still like this game to go under uh the knicks it's it's funny ever since Mitchell Robinson went out, it's it's crazy. Like the Br Brunson Robinson one two combo over there in New York, it was working. You know what I mean? But now it's just like uh, Jalen Brunson is a one man show, and so the Knicks with the mediocre offense and they still have a, a stellar defense. They've cashed the most unders in the NBA this year. They're the number one team in cashing the under. More than sixty percent of their games have cashed the under because they're just not scoring a lot, but they are keeping teams from scoring. And then they're catching the Blazers right now. Uh, third game in four nights, second night of a back-to-back, -back, you know what I mean? Fatigue's going to play a big factor for Portland, who's already not a good team as well. And I just, I think the buckets come few and far between in this one, and uh, I don't even think they reached the 200 mark. There we go. Uh, Tony Brown here in this one uh, likes the Knicks and Trailblazers under total here of 204. You know, it's interesting. I was, uh, you know, kind of keeping an eye on this Knicks team. And it seems to me that they've already begun uh, playing their playoff type defense. We've seen that, that we've seen the pace of play really slow down here with the Knicks, especially in that Philly series. Yeah, and if I mean down to just the Philly series, the last four games, neither team has reached the century mark. Like I said, their offense is struggling, so they haven't been able to get to 100, and they kept teams for under 100. So they they ramped it up. It's it's playoff time now. Like with that. Wow, it's what is it? The play in game, so right. playoff play in with that little extra play in game. Man, everybody's scraping and scribing. You can go from 10 seed to 7 seed with just one or two games, so everyone's in playoff mode at this point. All the teams, 
Yeah, they should be. <laughs> they should be. Some, I, I, right. I don't well, want to say. All the teams that have a chance. All, right, all the right. Teams well, I mean, I don't know game. about. You know I, mean? I mean, we saw the Lakers yesterday continue to blow a spot to try to get out of that 10th seed in 10 and 9, all right? I mean, at some point, you got to get out of that 10-9 because if, if you're in that 10-9 game, even if you win that, that play-in, you're going to play Denver because Denver's going to finish number one. Right, and so the, here's the thing about the Lakers: like, you got those are must wins, and you hate to say you have a must win this early in the season, but I mean Sacramento off the back to back, they had their B team in most of the game. Like, we're supposed to kill that game right there, and this is the game Davis and and, and James combined for 13 points at the half. So, I mean, who? But who's not entitled to a bad game here or there? I mean, you know, I mean, it happens. I hate that we lost that one, but you're right. If we if we end up having to play Denver in the first round, it's game over. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like right now. Because uh, if you finish ten or nine, you, you can be no better than an eight seed in the playoffs. You got to get that eight. Right. You got to get that eight seed because then you have a you have a you have a shot of getting that two seed or that that seven. Yeah, seed. but then. Again, with the way the West is going, Minnesota, OKC could end up with a one seed. So then in that case, we'd love to get the eight seed because neither one of those teams can beat us in a seven-game series. So if Minnesota or OKC ends up number one, then by uh, that would be a, a miracle for us to get the eight seed. We'll automatically advance to the second round. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, maneuvering here. It should be very interesting here. Uh, we got uh, Tony Brown here on the Knicks Trailblazers under 204. Uh, this one to have a start time here, 10 p.m. Eastern time, one of your later games tonight. All right, Tony Brown, let's take a look over at Pick Dodger for tonight's action. Of course, the action on the board here. Uh, Tony Brown having a great NHL season, 904 units of profit in the NHL. That is all documented over at Pick Dodger. Maybe you can verify those numbers simply by going over to Tony's handicapper page and verify those uh, numbers. Okay, big NHL card tonight, 12 games. We also have action here from college basketball with these conference tournaments. Many uh, uh, quarterfinals. There are some first round action as well. Uh, action in the NBA with the six game card. What do you have going on over at Pick Docs Premium? Yeah, it was a nice card in the NHL tonight. I really liked it a lot. So I got three plays over there, all 10 star premium picks. You can get them individually or with my NHL triple play tonight. And then I have one game out of the NBA and one game out of the NCAA. Uh, they're the best play on the board from both leagues. It's you don't pick too many games if I didn't see too many, and I only seen one in both leagues tonight. My only plays on the board, the biggest bets we're making in college and pro hoops, and you can grab those for just $25 as well. That's right, guys. I get on board with Tony Brown over at Pick Dodge Premium. You see the great results from Tony Brown here uh, this year right now in the uh, overall in the NHL. 904 units of profit, all documented over at Pick Dodge Premium. So go ahead and get signed up with Tony Brown. Use that promo code Pick it, check out, you'll save that 15% off. And of course, you can add multi-cappers. With that multi-capper discount, even greater value now. Of course, we're not too far away from baseball. Two weeks from today is a U.S. opening day. The Dodgers start next week already, less than seven days away from that series with the Padres. And of course, Tony Brown, for all your, uh, you have a really good value up there uh, with your VIP one year all sports pass. Yeah, baseball season's coming up. You know how long the baseball season is, 162 games. If you uh, buy those plays individually or weekly or whatever, you're going to spend way more than you would just buying that VIP yearly pass. With the VIP year pass, you don't have to pay per day or per play or per sport anymore. You get every single pick I release from every single sport for a full VIP year, not just the, the length of the sport, 365 days of plays for one low price. So that includes the NHL and NBA playoffs coming up, both championships, Stanley Cup and NBA, the full MLB season, the start of football again. Every single day until this day next year, every play I release, you can get that for one low price with my VIP all year pass. That's right, guys. You have that one year all sports pass pick as a promo code. You're saving like $300 when you make that purchase. All right, Tony Brown. Uh, before I let you go, I know there's a big event going on right now. I'm looking at UNLV and San Diego State. The lower bowl seems packed. Of course, they don't light up the top, up, upper bowl, so you can see how many fans are in the upper bowl. But uh, lower bowl packed. We got a live line here of San Diego State, minus one and a half. It's 14-10 UNLV with that lead. Would you have any uh, opinion here on an in-game in -game pick on this game? Yeah, I, don't, I hate to say this. I know a lot of people from Vegas watch this, but I would jump on San Diego State as fast as I can. Uh, I told you guys I went last year to the Final Four to Houston to watch San Diego State. Lamont Butler plays on that team. He, you know, he's a local kid or whatnot. So uh, San Diego State is great. They returned their whole team from the Final Four damn near. Uh, this is the time they like to turn it on or whatnot. And uh, 
I wouldn't bet against San Diego State going into this tournament right now, and I think they'll be able to knock off UNLV. I think that UNLV just got to a hot start. Yep, if you didn't like the four and a half, you could play it in game and get one and a half because uh, uh, UNLV up to a four-point lead. A lot low scoring so far, eight, eight, about eight and a half to go in the first half. 14-10 UNLV, you get San Diego State says Tony Brown, minus one and a half with an in-game there. A little better number now as we're in-game. All right, Tony Brown, have yourself a great evening, and we'll catch up with you again uh, next week. Awesome. I always appreciate being here, and I'll see you guys next week. Tony Brown here on The Drive Through. We'll continue here on our show, guys. Our newest feature here on The Drive Through is our Ask the Chat uh, uh, segment. We asked the chat for their pick here, and we got one for you guys right now. As uh, we'll ask the chat uh, uh, for this pick right here. Uh, it's a game that is not covered on our show today. It will be between uh, Villanova and Marquette. Uh, we, if you like uh, Villanova, hit A. If you like Mar uh, Villanova plus four, hit A. If you like Marquette minus the four, hit B. If you like under 140, hit C. If you like under 140, hit the letter D. And let's see if we can update some of the numbers here right now. We're getting, uh, uh, let's see, right now we can update you right now. It is a, a pounding here right now. I've got, we've got eight on Marquette minus four, only one on Villanova plus four. Matter of fact, the last eight have all been on Marquette. We do have a C coming in here. Uh, we are now starting to see some more come in right now. A couple of A's. We got a couple of A's and we got a C in there. So we can now say, uh, actually another B coming in right now from the chat. So right now, nine on Marquette, three on Villanova, one here on the over. So that's the update right now. Actually, we can add another A in there. So we got four now on the side of, of Villanova as our man uh, Rick Barnes comes in with it. So uh, four on that side. Let's see if any more. Another, we got that B in there already. So right, nine right now for Marquette, four here for Villanova, and we do have one coming in on the over. All right, that's where we sit here. Actually, just more updates right now. More Bs coming in. So we're now up to 11. So Jaquan, Jaquan coming in, J-Man coming in with uh, with Villanova. Uh, we got Tranny, uh, tr tranny, tranny and Jaquan with, with uh, uh, Marquette. So right now we can update it with 11 Marquette, 5 Villanova. That's where we sit here. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. Up next will be Mills Young. Let's bring him in right now. Content co content producer here at, at uh, over at uh, Pick Dogs Premium. We'll bring him in right now. Uh, get Mills. Uh, so we got some, uh, looks like we're going to some uh, college hoops action, or actually NBA action here from Mills. We're bringing him in right now. I think we'll be ready to roll here in just a second. Mills, what's happening? What's going on, Tony? How's everybody doing today? Everything's going great. All right, we're going to be looking at the game here, uh, player prop here in the Phoenix game, one of the earlier games today, uh, one of the more higher profile games, I will tell you, on this card. I thought it, the card was uh, uh, lacking, in, you know, lacking a little bit here. The injury in that, in that uh, Mavericks game kind of screwed things up. But anyway, here we go. TNT has Suns and Celtics. We see the Celtics laying six, the total 227, but you'll be looking at this one a little differently. Yeah, man. I mean, it's gonna, definitely going to be a good game on this Thursday. They didn't give us a lot to bet on today. So, you know, with this being, you know, stars players on both teams, I'm all in for it, man. And to just be looking at both the teams in the last 10 games, you got the Phoenix Suns, who's 5-5 five and five out their last 10. The Boston Celtics, I think, are like 8-2, and 7-3. and three. I mean, it ain't hard to tell who's been playing the best basketball as of late. But before that little break, the Phoenix Suns was actually, you know, uh, looking and showing like they can work together with the team chemistry and everything. You had Bradley Bill coming out, dropping some good games. You had Devin Booker in and out the lineup. But in this one, I got to go with the guy who's having a career year right now. I'm going with Kevin Durant in this spot. I'm taking him over his point prop. Um, you can guys can maybe catch it at 26 and a half on some books. Some books it's at 27 and a half points. Right now on the year, he's having a, his best year ever scoring the ball. Uh, he usually averages for a career 27 points. He's at 28 and a half right now with the Phoenix Suns. Looking at the Boston Celtics, what they allowed the star players who played against them, all the star players on a former t on the uh, opposing team was able to hit those numbers. Luka Doncic went for 37. Uh, Nikolai Jokic went for uh, 33. No star player with the Jazz, but Keontae George even dropped 26 on him. I really like Kevin Durant in this spot. He's hitting this percentage out of 80% clip. And not just going over it by a few points. Uh, going over it when he played against the uh, Boston Celtics. He had 45 points in that game, 10 rebounds in that game. Uh, and he went, I think, 4 from 8 on the 3 points. Uh, besides that, he had multiple games already in the last 5 where he dropped 35 points or more. So I'm taking Kevin Durant over his point prop. That's my best player prop to get you on top. 
There you go. Uh, Mills here with uh, Durant over 27 and a half points. Uh, of course, as he's been put, like you said, he's been put up a lot of numbers. Not a whole lot of depth there on this Phoenix Suns roster. So a lot is asked out of Durant, lots asked out of Booker as you expand because there isn't a whole lot of contributions beyond that. And that's the sad part there with Phoenix. Uh, they are going to be hitting a tough scheduling spot. But speaking of scheduling spot, Mills, if you're going to get kind of a tough, a soft effort, maybe on the defense side, this might be the, the game here for the Celtics because it is their first home game after a long road trip. Yeah, man, that's definitely the spot that you want to catch them at, you know. Um, you know, when they're used to being on the road, coming at home, everybody knows the Boston Celtics. I think they are one of the best home records in the NBA right now. You got Christoph Porzingis. He's going to be out the lineup. And then just talking about the depth for the Phoenix Suns, yeah, no Eric Gordon, uh, you know, coming off that bench. He's not doing too much, but he is giving you about 8 to 12 points in those games. And the Phoenix Suns is a team to where, hey, the only way that they're doing good is if those three players are doing great. You know, you can't even just do good and win. They, Them players got to do great. It reminds me of last year with the Lakers. Anthony Davis was dropping, like, points. LeBron James was going for points. And they were still losing. It wasn't enough. And, uh, you know, the Phoenix Suns, they don't got a Malik Monk over there that could come out and just drop 22 points at, in a game and stuff like that. They don't have players like that. Nurkic, you know, might give you a, a 14, 16 points at an all-time high. But besides that, yeah, man. They need their star players to put up star numbers, and those big numbers are 35, 32 per game. You going for 26, 27 points ain't enough at all. So, yeah, on this spot, yeah, I really like it a lot with Kevin Durant, man. And you look at the matchup, you know, he has what? Howard's were sticking him and Jason Tatum. When was the last time you guys heard Jason Tatum playing any defense? So give me Kevin Durant in this spot. All right, uh, we got uh, Mills here with Kevin Durant here in this spot over tw uh, 27 and a half points. Got a game at halftime, uh, Mills. Uh, kind of, I don't know if it's a surprise here. UCLA up 34-29 in Oregon. We do have a second half line coming up here. Oregon minus four and a half in this one. Yeah, I mean, Oregon, that was the thing in this one, man. Oregon's been impressing people a little bit this year. UCLA, uh, they started to get it hot right before the, the last couple of tournaments started and stuff. But in this one, I'll be honest, man. I'll probably be looking at Oregon in this spot. I know UCLA is always let a letdown spot. Even though they started off hot in this one, uh, the first half, I'll probably be looking at Oregon for the second half of the game. Looking for Oregon there in the second half of the game here. And your thoughts here, what's going on in the MMA world this weekend? Yeah, man, you got a big uh, stack card for you guys uh, going down this week. Uh, Tatu Avasa taking on Marcin Tiboria. You got about 13 fights on there. It's going down in the apex. We're just coming off a big pay-per-view event with uh, UFC 299. Um, you know, you got a few fights that's been announced out there, making waves out there. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. They got Jake Paul, a minus three to one favorite in there. I'll just be honest with you guys. He's probably going to win um, just the way that it's been going in there. You got Mike Tyson who's... You know, I, they got pictures of that guy hopping out of a wheelchair like last year. So it's just hard to actually put your hard-earned money on Mike Tyson and think all because you don't like Jake Paul that Mike Tyson's going to be Mike Tyson. Key note for you guys, when Mike Tyson was boxing in his real boxing fights, his last couple of fights, I was watching him, and he was getting beat up by nobodies. So I don't think that he's just going to be able to turn it around and turn it on uh, for that type of fight. Coming off of uh, Francis Ngannou getting knocked out by Anthony Joshua. Woo, 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 woo. Man, it's been a hard time for the MMA fighters out here. So, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But this week, yeah, UFC Fight Night, uh, they got about 13 fights on there. After you guys are done watching the drive-thru, um, I, I got some videos on the channel for you guys to watch. You guys can watch my fights to finish, not go the distance. That just came out today. I went over all the fights on there. I'm letting you guys know if they're going to finish or go to the scorecards. Throughout there, I gave you guys different ways to get paid uh, on props. And I also gave you guys a three-leg parlay. Uh, and then besides that, I have the UFC Bet With Me series up. Uh, went through the whole card in there. I uh, did change one of my picks on there. But, yeah, man, that's uh, that's that's where we're going this week for UFC. It's not a lot of big names on that card. It's a lot of fighters who probably should be fighting on the prelims. There you go. That's skiing there from Mills on this UFC card. Of course, Mills over at Pick Dogs. <coughs> you produce content. Uh, we got your prop shop and, of course, your UFC rundown as well.
Yeah, man, the prop shop is out right. I went over all the props for the NBA game out there for you guys to get paid. Uh, I think we had about seven props out there. Uh, one of my hockey props that I like was Alex Ovechkin to just get over one assist and over two and a half shots on goal. You guys can play those separate for you guys. Then, like we said earlier, I got the uh, – it's kind of like a prop shop for you guys for the UFC fights, you know, because there's different ways to get paid on it. It's not all about just picking if this fighter is going to win. You know, if you guys can't do that, hey, decide on the side or in the total, and, you know, you guys can get money that way. So go ahead and see what we guys got going on the site. Let me know what you guys like so we can keep hitting you with this content over here. That's right, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, set notifications so when Mills drops those videos – you get them right away. All right, Mills, have yourself a great weekend. We'll catch up with you again next week. All right, Tony. See everybody next week. Yeah, right, Mills Young here on The Drive, too. Let's continue on. Guys, if you've ever missed a pick, we recap at the end of the show. Stay tuned for that. I want to let everybody know that uh, we've uh, introduced a new uh, feature here over at On The Drive, too, and that is Ask The Chat. We asked The Chat the pick of the day right now. So it's Villanova and Marquette is our chat pick of the game, a game not covered on our show. We try to look for the highest profile game uh, we can. That's not covered on the drive through We let the, we, and we ask the chat. Well, the chat here, if it's letter A, if you like Villanova plus four, put A in the chat. If you like Marquette minus four, hit B uh, in the chat. If you like over 140, go with C. Under 140 is, is D. And right now, we'll give you some updates here as uh, we're tracking this right now. We've got uh, right now uh, Marquette at minus four has 11. Villanova plus four has five. And there is one pick here on the over. Uh, and we're getting another total here. We're getting a second over here as our man uh, Von, Von GB coming in here with the over. So keep uh, those uh, those uh, picks coming in, guys. Uh, on our chat pick of the day today is Villanova and Marquette. Big East tournament action. And right now it is Marquette with 11 and uh, only 5 for Villanova. So you guys can select the chat pick of the day by voting here. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. Up next, we're going to go ahead and bring in... Uh, uh, Wayne Scott, catch him over at Pick Dodge. We'll do an NBA rundown as well with Wayne. We'll still go ahead and bring him in right now. Catch him over at Pick Dogs uh, Premium. So we'll uh, get Wayne here up in just a second. Uh, we'll be set to roll here with NBA coverage. Wayne, Wayne, what's happening? What's going on, Tony T? What's going on out there, Pick Dog family? Hope everybody doing good out there today. Everything's going great today. Uh, we're going to move the chains here and get to Wayne's uh, play here today. As uh, we're going to look at this Clippers team as they're going to be taking on the Chicago Bulls. Uh, boy, the Bulls were in. Uh, boy, that was some intense game last night. If you happen to catch any of, of that Bulls and in Indiana game, my God, that felt like a playoff game. The way the level of intensity there, that Siakam block on uh, Kobe White was something there. I mean, it reminded me of watching. That was amazing. Is, is this regular season or playoff? I mean, that was an intense game uh, last night. I thought it was enjoyable. Hey man, when you see both of where both of them are at in the playoff um, ranking and stuff like that, you understand. Neither one of them wanted to lose that game, and um, that block was gruesome. That shot from DeRozan to put it in overtime, like you said, man, it was a lot of spectacular play in that in that game. It was just an awesome game, all in all. Yeah, it was a really really good NBA game that. Uh that's a Pacers and Bulls game. So, uh, again, we got a little bit of playoff. As, as, as I've talked about, you know, there are some teams I think that have, have let, raised the intensity level right now. One of them, obviously, is the Knicks. Knicks, are, in my opinion, are starting to play playoff defense. We're starting to see some, the intensity level pick up. Out West, they need to wake up in L.A. for both L.A. teams. But here's one here. Clippers on the road against the Bulls. Clippers laying six, total 214. Yeah, man. I normally like uh, home teams in the revenge spot. Sorry. All right, look like Wayne has his sign-off sign back in. Maybe a call coming in. Looking at this Clippers and Bulls game will be Wayne Scott tonight as, as uh, the, the Bulls will be in a back-to-back uh, -back spot. If you didn't mention, if you didn't know, know that uh, Kobe White will be out of this game as he took that brute, that the collision uh, with uh, Siakam last night. It was pretty pretty brutal. Uh, let's let's see what the injury is here. I thought it might have been a well, I, I won't, it's a hip injury. Okay, it's a hip uh, as he left the game. After after his shot being blocked, of course, uh, Siakam landed on him. It's a hip uh, that he'll miss, and uh, it's not severe, which is the good news because if you if you look at the highlight of that, it was a really really intense uh, 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 fall here by uh, White as Siakam landed on him. I thought he might have done the split. I was more worried that it might have been a groin injury, but it turns out to be a hip injury. And uh, again, the good news that it's. Um, it's uh, not not deemed serious, and uh, for the 
for the 24 year old so hopefully white can uh, get back in here we're not sure yet when he'll return to the lineup but uh hoping sooner than later yeah we'll still continue to wait here i don't know what's going on with uh, wayne maybe he might have lost his connection we'll go to my pick and then hopefully we can get back in touch with wayne so we'll go to my pick and then we'll go to back to wayne if not we'll uh do an NBA uh, rundown if, if, if Wayne cannot come back in. So let's get to my pick and then we'll get to the, uh, we'll get to Wayne and, and let me see, I just wanted to get my notes on this one. All right, let's get to, let's get to my game here. College Hoops tonight, I'll be looking at a, actually a Pac-12 game, one of the later games tonight, actually one of the later games on the card tonight that will be from the Pac-12 tournament. So let's go ahead and put that up. We're gonna be looking at Utah and Colorado going head to head here. And we're seeing Colorado a four and a half point favorite in this one. We see the total coming in at 151 and a half. And in this one, um, I'm going to be here on this underdog, Utah. I like what I saw from Utah last night. Utah here plus four and a half here against Colorado. And uh, when you look at uh, Colorado uh, away from home, uh, they were given up defensively, given up 47% shooting. And man, you got, I just like the better form for Utah coming into this game. You look at Utah over their past five games. 50% shooting, allowing just over 40%, averaging nearly 84 points a game. And uh, that's better form uh, defensively than the Colorado team coming into this game. And of course, you get Colorado away from that home court. They're giving up 47% shooting. So in this spot, I will uh, come in here with the uh, Utes at plus the four and a half here against Colorado in this one. Uh, so that'll that'll be my play in that game, guys. Shout out, pick dogs for him. I've got a three. I've got a best bet on the board right now uh, from College Hoop. So get on board with that, or get my long term pass, my three seven or thirty L sports pass. Get all my premium plays with that time you select. When you go to my handicapper page, and you will go ahead and get signed up. Remember the promo code pick at checkout, and you will save that fifteen percent off. All right, let's continue here on the drive through. And I think we'll be ready here. Uh, we're still waiting on Wayne here to get his uh, connection back. So let's just see if we can do a, a little bit of an NBA rundown for you. It's usually reserved for Wayne, but he looks like he's having some sort of issues there with his connection. So let me go ahead and pull this up, get my notes up here. We'll, we'll, do, an, we'll, bit, we'll do a bit of an NBA rundown here as we wait for Wayne here to get his connection set up. So let me go ahead and change my graphic to NBA. And we'll get the NBA rundown set for you here in just a second here as we go through every game on the board not covered here on the show. So let's see here. I went too far. Let me get the NBA board up. Here we go, NBA. So let's get started here with this NBA uh, for tonight. We'll do a bit, a bit of a rundown. So let me move the chains here, get back to the beginning, and we'll start off here with our NBA rundown. All right, Suns and Celtics going head-to-head -head here. We see the Celtics here laying 5.5, total 227 in this game. And... Uh, and this one, I'm going to be looking here. I'm going to go ahead and lay the favorite. I know it's a tough spot here, the first home game after that long road trip. But, man, I'm, 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 I'm done going against the Celtics for a while. I mean, I'm, I'm just done. <laughs> I just, bad spot was against Utah, right? That was supposed to be a bad spot. Guess what? They pounded Utah. This was supposed to be a bad spot. Guess what? They're going to cover against Utah. You know, so uh, that's the way I'm looking at. Lee out for Phoenix. Gordon out for uh, uh, Phoenix as well. That will impact the score, a bit of their depth. Also out, uh, Porzingis, we know, is out for Boston, but everybody else is in. So we'll look at that one here with the uh, Celtics laying the five and a half. What do you guys think in this one? <laughs> so we'll uh, see that. All right. Uh, let's continue here on uh, this NBA rundown for you as uh, Wayne's still not able to get his connection set up. So uh, we, we'll have his pick. Uh, we won't duplicate it here, but we have his picks ready for, for you just in case. All right. Let's uh, continue on here on our NBA rundown. Uh, 76ers and Bucks going head to head here. We see right now the Bucks seven total 218 and a half. Let's take a look at the injuries this game. We know Covington and Bede Melton still out here for Philadelphia. Middleton, Beauchamp, Beasley, Beasley out for Milwaukee. Giannis is probable in this game. So he's probable Giannis in this one. And in this one, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, under. Under has under, been a big move to the under, right? 218 and a half. That's where I looked at it. Uh, basically, we look here at uh, Philadelphia over their past five games, last in offensive efficiency, averaging just 101 points per 100 possessions. You look at Milwaukee since the All-Star break, they are tops in defensive efficiency on their home court. They're allowing just 98 points per 100 possessions. They're playing very slow at home. This is a home game. At home, post-All-Star break, they've been playing very, very, uh, very slow and, and leaning under. So we'll go under the total here with uh, 76ers and the Bucks. All right, let's continue here on our rundown here from 
uh, the NBA tonight, and we'll get to the next game. It's not covered here on the show, and that would be, that's Wayne's game. We have a pick from Wayne in this one. Wizards and Rockets are going head-to-head, -head, and uh, we've got in this one, uh, the Wizards are, are going to be dogs. Rockets, 8.5, total 227.5. In this one, uh, injuries here for Bagley, Holmes, and Shemet here for Washington. Uh, on the uh, Houston side, uh, we've got uh, Sangoon and Whitmore out of uh, this one. So that's how it looks right now in, as far as injuries go. And in this one, I'm going to be looking in this game at Houston, Washington and Houston go under total of 227.5. The, the number is going over, but I like the under in this one, under 227.5. You kind of look at Washington over their past five games, averaging just, averaging just 109 points per 100 possessions. And uh, playing a little bit of defense, Houston at home, a really good home team. Fourth in defensive efficiency, allowing 109 points per 100 possessions. They're giving up 45%. The Singoon injury is going to impact their scoring. They don't have a lot of scoring. They just lost a score for Houston. So uh, let's go under 227.5 here in this one. All right, it looks like uh, we'll continue this rundown, and then we'll go back to when Wayne is back with us. So we'll get to him in just a second. But we'll just go ahead and just finish this rundown, if you would. And, uh, well, I think we're getting him back here in a second. So, uh we're going to look at Knicks and Trailblaze. This was covered already by Tony Brown. Mavericks and Thunder. This is an interesting one here, right? Uh, big line here for the Thunder, 10.5. The total sitting here at 233.5. Of course, the news in this game uh, is, uh, let's get it here in a second here, is uh, Doncic is out of this game, left early with that hamstring injury yesterday. O OKC, a clean injury report. And in this game, I can only look <laughs> at the chalk in this one. Uh, I've seen... I've seen uh, the Mavericks get pounded without 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 Luca in the lineup, and that's why I would lean that way uh, with OKC in that spot. All right, let's uh, continue here on our NBA rundown. And I think we might we hit our last game, so let's go ahead and uh, roll it back here because we have Wayne is just reconnected on the show, and he's, he'll be ready for that Clipper game. So we'll get to the Clippers and Bulls uh, with uh, Wayne, and then uh, we will uh, sign you guys off. And before we bring in Wayne, I just want to remind you guys about. Uh, uh, let's see here. Just want to, before we get to Wayne, I'm remind you guys about our chat pick of the day, guys. Our chat pick uh, of the day is Villanova and Marquette. If you like Villanova, type in A in the chat. If you like Marquette, type in B. That's Villanova plus the four is A. Marquette uh, minus the four is B. Under 140 C. I'm sorry, over 140 is C. Under 140 is D. So put those picks in there, and we'll get to, we'll, we'll add up the uh, results here. As as uh, right now, we're getting some more coming in. So I just want to. Keep an eye on things. We're getting, boy, we're getting a lot, a lot of Marquette right now. Let's see, Marquette, Marquette, another Marquette coming in. Uh, what else do we have here? All right, so here's the current update on the chat pick of the day. We've got 14 on Marquette, five on Villanova, two on the over, none on the under. So that's the update right now here for us here on the chat. Another, as a matter of fact, another. Marquette comes in, so that's 15 to 5 right now on the Marquette side. All right, we'll update here at the end of the show. Let's continue here on the drive through Looks like uh, Wayne is back with us, I hope. I <laughs> have the screen here, but we'll bring him in right now, and we'll go ahead and get you coverage on that Clipper game with the Bulls. Uh, we were talking about Kobe White there, but uh, we'll get uh, back to Wayne here. So ready to roll with, with uh, Wayne. I think we're set to go. Here we go, Wayne. Wayne, you're back with us? Yes, sir. My bad about that pick, dog family. Let's get y'all your third winner on the week. Can you hear me, Tony? I can hear you. Yeah, come in with the Bulls and the um, and the Clippers. Clippers laying six on the road. Yes, sir. As we mentioned, man, this overtime. But like I was uh, getting to say, I typically like home teams in the revenge role, getting points. But this spot, not only um, do I not like it for the Bulls here because they just came in the overtime loss, but as you guys mentioned, Kobe White, man, this Bulls team has been cooking ever since Kobe White has been uh, coming in the lineup. And it's not just his scoring, it's his assist making too. So you got a guy who scores 20 points a game, getting about 8 to 12 assists a game. So he's getting other people involved. That's almost 30 to 40 points worth of scoring here that we're missing from Kobe White not being out of this game. So, um, Love the um that the Clippers are seven and three against the Bulls. They've covered their last three against the Bulls. I love the Clippers are coming off a two loss, so this is a kind of a must win situation. And I think they come out here and they don't play. They also play well with the rest advantage in this spot. And um Bulls just one and four in their last um 
five home games ATS. Although uh, Clippers are only one and four, when you look at the the four games they played, they they played a lot harder teams recently. So um, I give I, I I don't give as much uh, credit to um, the Clippers in that spot for being one and four in a row, more so than I give the Bulls for being one and four at home in their last five. Also, Clippers score their most points when they're on the road. Clippers play great defense on the road. Bulls are a team that's known to play good defense, but in their last three, they're the third worst defensive team in these last three games. All that being said, let's get this third win on the uh, week by grabbing the Clippers here minus the six. All right, there we go. Uh, Wayne here on the Clippers minus the six here against the Bulls. And, of course, on the Clippers side, we know Westbrook's going through surgery with that issue, I believe, with his arm. Uh, what Tarden is the one that's out, so we're going to see – uh, we're go- definitely going to see a, a George in. We're, we're expecting to see Kawhi Leonard in there. And starting at point guard uh, will be Bones Highland. Uh, he was someone who was a little disgruntled <laughs> by not uh, getting playing time, right? Him, him and uh, Tucker, I believe, was he was he's one of those disgruntled guys. He used to be on the Denver. Maybe he's disgruntled because he used to be on the Denver <laughs> on the Denver roster and was traded last year before he got the <laughs> ring. So Bones Highland in there at the, at the starting guard here for the Clippers. He um is probably just grown because he feels like he deserves playing time, man. Anybody who watched Bones Island knows that this kid is a baller. He does need to step up on defense a little bit. But um, offensively, this kid can get buckets at any time. So um, I, I like the fact that he's in this lineup. I do think he comes to play. He shows out. One thing you got to do when you're not getting minutes is take advantage of the times you are getting minutes. I do think that he takes advantage here. He goes out, has fun, get these guys involved. I love the fact that Kawhi um, is is going to be in there with Paul George. And this Clippers team is more prepared uh, for injuries than the Bulls team, uh, rather missing somebody like Kobe White, somebody who's really turned this team around. They're missing their best player tonight as far as – um um. Harden being out, he's not the best player on this Clippers team. So, all right, uh, oh yeah, because you got that Norman Powell coming off the bench. You got you got a lot of scores coming off the bench. We even saw when uh, Zubak went down. We also Thies came in, uh, and uh, who's the other big man? He actually did some. They actually seemed serviceable even as well. So a lot of lot of depth, but that's lacking on the Celtics side. So when you lose White, and they're also dealing with an injury as well to one of their scores, who name is casing right now. Uh, that uh, he's out of there too, right? Uh, oh my goodness, who was who was who was his? Uh, my goodness, he 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 was he used to be on the Trojans back in the day, and uh, they they were rumoring to, to train him, but he's out. Uh, so right now we're looking at a real thin bench for the Bulls coming off the bench: Javon Carter, the team Drummond, and Terry off the bench. Yeah, um, I actually like Drummond and Terry, but it's just not enough for this Clippers team. This Clippers team is deep. They've been um, stacking players. Like I said, they're the more prepared team to be dealing with injuries. And that uh, that, that overtime game, man, it's just you, you're you not only playing a back-to-back, but you're playing off a of back-to-back playing extra minutes. And those extra minutes uh, took a lot out of them guys to get that win. Um and today, I think it really shows going against the Clippers team. This should blow them out even on a night where they uh, don't come on a back-to-back off an of overtime game. This Clippers uh, team should still win. We're getting, uh, to me, a decent line just because one player is out for the Clippers, but books are not taking into uh, account how good Kobe White is. And uh, I think this line should be way higher. I'm going to lay the points with the six. I'm going to lay the points here with the six here. Uh, with the uh, Clippers and Bulls. Uh, name was escaping me there was Jason Plumley. So there's a lot of depth here on this, uh, definitely on this uh, Clippers uh, this Clippers side. Uh, they had, of course, a, kind of a rough start. Uh, things not happen for them at home. But, of course, uh, uh, you're looking at what, what that game last night. It's going to be tough here for uh, – they are, they're actually projecting nearly 40 minutes for DeRozan and Vucevic tonight. Man, I uh, don't – this game can be this this this. I definitely expect this point spread to be covered by about the first quarter, if not halftime. If they don't rip it open wide open in the first quarter, I think they get them by halftime. It's just it's that's a lot of minutes to be asking for your veterans on the team. I can see if it was a younger team, but these are the veterans on the team, and they'll be game. They'll be they'll be they'll be uh ready to play this type of minutes. But I just don't think they got the help around them to cover this spread at home. Uh, you don't think, yeah, exactly. It's going to be really, really tough for the uh, for this uh, Bulls team, as we mentioned here. 
uh, you know, dealing with the injuries. Zach Levine is the one I was thinking about earlier, the former UCLA player. <laughs> I had it wrong. You know, he's, uh, they're missing a lot, of, uh, a lot of scoring this Bulls team when you take White out of the lineup. I think that's a big miss, as we talked about here. Clippers laying the six here against the Bulls tonight here at 8 Eastern time, right? Uh, Wayne, let's take a look over at Pick.com for tonight's action. Of course, on the board, we got the six-game card from the NBA. Lots of action on the ice. Lots of college basketball in action. We do have a, we do have a couple. We do have a surprise right now. Last check, UNLV was up by 10 points. We go to the halftime. It's 27-19 at the half. We got a second-half line, San Diego State minus 3.5 uh, in that second-half line right now. Uh, that's uh, We have college basketball in action as well. Lots going on over at Pick.com. What do you have going over at the site? Yeah, I have nothing for sale right now. My last play went off at 6.30, so I'm sorry I couldn't get you to that, guys. I hope to win that play. Um, I had five college basketball uh, plays a day. Started off 4-0, so I'm um, trying to finish off and go 5-0 with this last one that started at 6.30. And, um, yeah, I'll be ready for you guys tomorrow. Um, locked in with this college basketball. Good NBA slate tomorrow. Also looking in to make sure um, I don't miss – nothing on the ice uh, i love something on the ice tomorrow and uh stay tuned looking to ha have a great day tomorrow as i did today coming off two rough days before that but at the same time hey it's day by day I, that's how i like to take it day by day great day today and looking to do the same tomorrow that's right guys get over with wayne scott over at pick dodge we get up over those long-term passes it'll serve you well threes uh, three seven or thirty dollars sports pass get all of his premium plays for that time you select when you go to his handicapper page make that purchase pick as a promo code save that 15 percent off right Wayne is always great having your show have a great evening we'll catch up with you again next week we can also catch up for you with your boxing video series as well as your appearances on the weekend show yeah man I heard bridges uh um I heard Mills I'm sorry uh talking about that that fight a little bit sound like he kind of leaning towards Jake Paul I don't see it, man. We gonna have to we gonna have to debate about that, man. I know I know his uh, MMA guy just got rocked by Anthony Joshua, as he said. But Mike Tyson is not an MMA guy. Don't let that age fool you, man. It's, it's just certain techniques that you do repetitively, repetitively, repetitively for so long that it does not go nowhere. So Jake Paul still trying to learn these techniques. Mike just has those technique instincts uh, in the back of his head, no matter no matter how old he gets. So. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that fight. Um, I'm going to throw a little something in about the Bulls that I seen last week. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I'm glad that he's getting back. But um, Ball, man, Ball is is, is is back to playing basketball. He's uh, been medically relieved. He can now fully practice basketball. I don't think he's practicing with the team right now. I think he's just getting back in basketball shape. But I love seeing that um, with Kobe White and with I – don't, I don't know what they're going to do with Ball, but – if he can somehow return, uh, maybe if they make a play-in, playoff run, or even seeing him next year, I'll be excited to, for him for that uh, big injury. But as yeah. Tony said, uh, stay tuned for this uh, boxing news as well. Yeah, just to give you some of the particulars here on Jake Paul, in case you're not in, want, want to know, uh, obviously there, I don't know if there's a weight class here, but uh, Jake Paul stands about six foot one inch. And he weighs 199 pounds, which is a lot heavier than I thought he was, but he's pretty well built together muscular. Yeah, he's not he's he's not a he's not a little dude at all. He fights little dudes, but he's not a little dude. If he was uh fighting uh, in the real boxing, he would be at the cruiserweight or the heavyweight because a uh, heavyweight you only got to be two hundred pounds and up to be a heavyweight, and cruiserweight is between one ninety to two hundred pounds. So depending on uh depending on his weight, but he he damn near a heavyweight. So um. Yeah, he he's a big guy, man. Muscular guy. Looks like he's on the PEDs. Um, he'll be ready. But um, I, I still like Mike Tyson, man. He can't like I said, it's just the back the uh, I said basketball, the boxing IQ of Mike Tyson. A lot of that, a lot of those punches that come from him is just first nature off of doing it so long, so long. Um, I think I think he's gonna get him. Yeah, right, we'll take a look at that interesting fight that late July, guys, on Netflix. No added charge. Your Netflix regular subscription charge will cover the fine. All right, Wayne, have yourself a great evening. We'll catch up with you again next week. I right, appreciate you for having me, Tony T. I'll see you guys this weekend. I'll be on the Sunday show and um, catch the boxing series. Get with you. Good luck on all your bets today. You got it there. Wayne Scott here on the drive. -thru. Let's uh, wrap up this chat pick of the day, guys, uh, with our last updates as we will update this very shortly. Chat pick of the day, Villanova and Marquette. 
If you like Villanova, it's eight. You like Marquette minus four, it's B. Again, Villanova plus four is eight. Marquette minus four is B. Over 140 C, under 140 is D. Right now, 16 on Marquette, five on Villanova, two on the over. And uh, let's see if we get any more uh, any more uh, picks coming in. And we'll, we will recap this in just a few. That's going to do uh, let's get to the recap and then we'll recap the pick play right we'll, re we'll recap the chat pick of the day so let's get to the recap screen and then we'll let you roll here for the thursday card of action all right let's go ahead and get to the recap and we'll get to that board right now let's recap it for you right now all right recap in here alex on the islanders sabers under six tony brown Knicks trailblazers under 204 mills on durant over 27 and a half points Wayne was on Clippers, laid the six against Bulls. My pick will be Utah, plus four and a half here against Colorado. What I like the most, uh, let's go with Tony Brown here on that under. Knicks, Trailblazers, under 204. It looks to me that the uh, New York Knicks are in uh, playoff mode when it comes to defense. All right, let's see if we get any more. More are coming in right now, so we're going to close out this poll in just a minute. We did get another one here. Uh, uh, Marsha coming in here with the B, and we've got a couple of overs in here. And I don't know what three is. Okay, there we go. Team total over three. All right, so here we go. We're going to close out the chat pick. Last call on the chat pick. Get it in before we close it out. And it's pretty much it's a pretty much pounding right here. So right now we've got 17. 17 to five and four on the total. All right, here we go. We've got 17 right now. 17 on Marquette minus four. Five on Villanova plus four. And four on the over. And that closes out the chat pick of the day. So there we go. The chat pick of the day today will be on Marquette minus the four. That's your chat pick of the day here on the drive through. All right, that's going to do it here for this edition of the drive through, guys. So now it's time to get your best bets in there. Put your best bets into the chat right now. And uh, we got the chat pick of the day out of the way. So now it's time for your best bets. So push your best bets into the chat and uh, we'll, 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 let, we'll read it off at the end of the show. That's going to do it for this edition of the drive through, guys. Be sure you tune in again tomorrow live here at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring in our cameras from Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. Got our place for you in real time. Remember to always get started with that morning show live here at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time during the week. It's Mitch. It's Chris. It's Jay. Also, the video series, Mitch's 7 Picks in 5 Minutes. His main tools show his roundtable discussions with the professionals. Also, Jay's Jam Session NBA. Every game on the board from the NBA. Chris with his Around the League from the NHL. As well as Ron Romanelli with his Bank Shop Breakdown. Pick from College Hoops. As well as Rod Zawacki, A to Z coverage from the NHL. Pick from every game on the board from the NHL, as well as a parlay. We also have shorts, short parlay shorts here from both Brad and Jawan. All access for, uh, with our man Bayon McBorty. Against the public betting with Dana Lane. We've got sharp, uh, sharp uh, contrarian plays here. From our man Brian Biller, Costi with his sharp training plays as well here on the channel. So lots of content, guys. So uh, we also have Mills with his UFC rundown, his prop shop available too as well. So guys, make sure you like, subscribe, set those notifications so you're live with us when you get those plays in real time. All right, let's get your best bets. Get your best bets right now in the chat. We're going to go ahead and read them. We have our man uh, Blake here, Thunder, first half with uh, on the points here, laying the points. Uh, Blake here, Florida minus eight as well. Distance, cuz, uh, let's see, you're giving us totals, but okay, I think you're on our rundown. Doubles, your show pick will be Bulls and Clips over 214. That is from Doubles coming in right now. Uh, Panger Light likes the Suns plus five and a half, as well as the Bucks first quarter minus one and a, two and a half from, from Panger Light coming in as well. Uh, discreet, Distant Cuz, Josh Hart, point rebound assist 25 plus and distant cuz likes the blazers plus 10 and a half can't argue that one as well uh there from distance cuz uh with his play here and uh what else do we have any more best bets coming in from you guys now is the time blake with the bulls plus the points we got that in there right now distant cuz likes uh celtics here in the spot minus the five and a half it's hard to argue that one they have just been uh, pounded winning in bad spots Last chance here for your best bets, guys. Get them in here. J-Man, Cal State, Northridge, plus six and a half. Northridge has been a team that's looked good. Getting that overtime win. Uh, not overtime. Getting that win against, it was overtime, right? Against Santa Barbara. They eliminated Santa Barbara last night. Chris White Thunder has been good to us here in the chat. His best bet tonight, Baylor laying the seven and a half. Uh, Boston, money line. I know that uh, it's kind of a big number there uh, from our man Adrian going money line here. Lando, 86, likes Dallas. Stars team total over three. Uh, there 
from Atlanta 86. Let's see any more of your best bets coming in, guys. We're about to uh, last call right now here from our best bets. Vegas Royal was on, Vesper Royal was on Bucks and the Clippers tonight for the spread. And uh, let's see if we have any more. Okay, this is going to be your last call for your best bets. Get your best bets in. Last call for those. And we just got another one in here from Fidel Head likes Kansas State money line tonight. All right, that's going to do it for this edition here of the drive through guys. Make sure you tune in again tomorrow live here at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring our cappers from Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. We'll give our place for you in real time. Remember, always get started with that morning show. We are live here at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time during the week. We got Mitch, we got Jay, we got Chris, and everybody else contributing. That's going to do it. Let's go ahead and bring in our crew from night. Going to wave goodbye, guys. You guys have a great afternoon, evening. We'll catch up.